can I call you Rose? Cause you're sweet like a flower in bloom. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be more than new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew How much I miss Good morning, guys. How are y'all today? Ugh, as you guys saw, that was a realistic morning routine for me. I always brush my teeth. I always, I try to look because my Puerto Rican side are very hairy people. And so since I hit puberty, I would get chin hair. So I've been doing that since I was a kid, shaving my chin hairs because they will get noticeably long. And by me having dark hair, it's really noticeable. And I'm pretty sure on some vlogs, you guys probably seen it. So I do try to do that every morning. But yes, I'm recording from my phone. Let me wipe that off a little bit. Um, because I did it again. My SD card is in my computer. My camera's sitting right here, but my SD card's over there. So yeah but i'm about to do my morning routine go check on my loved one uh, make sure everybody eats and then and probably take a shower and yeah don't know what my plan for today is hopefully i would hope that i can um edit some more today and maybe do some legos later but i'm actually really debating because this is turning into my work corner as y'all can see this craziness over here um so i need to start eliminating some stuff and possibly taking some of my craft stuff over to our storage so i may want to go through this tote right here throw away what's in there and put some of like my craft stuff like this take all that over to storage because i actually don't do stuff with that that often more so more so this is what i need here all my cricket stuff but everything else can possibly go to storage so i can free up space to put this stuff onto the shelves so i can have more of an organized business space but also book space like this i want to clear out because i think these three shelves will be sufficient for all of my books to put all of my books together um because i want to read more so um and I would probably like to read here, so that's why this would be beneficial to have as my bookshelf. So, oh, y'all, let me show y'all this sweater that my hubby gave me. He also gave me a tote, which is in our bedroom, but I'm not going to go get that right now. It has, like, the women of the Bible on it. It says, like, be courageous, like Ruth, and, you know, like that. And it's such a beautiful tote. And also this sweater. Let me show y'all. Isn't this dope? Look at this. Praise the Lord. And it says um, Elevation Worship on it because that's the church that we are um, part members of. And I love it. It's so thick. Like, I can't wear it right now because it's actually too thick. I have to wait for it to get a lot colder outside. And you guys, like, the detail on here from, like, the yellow little, you know, holes for this to the pink straps. Like, oh, such a dope sweater. Like... I do like the fact that it's oversized as well and because then I could wear like you know a thin long sleeve under here in the winter and wear this coat you know and it's oh, I love it like the hubby thank you like it was a surprise and I absolutely love it I have to hang it up though because I don't want to get dog hair all over it because 
this one has been getting dog hair everywhere but this is what i'm talking about like okay for a perfect example how i have like this thin packer long sleeve in the winter or the fall i could wear this underneath this without it being too tight and being uncomfortable because this is so loose so it's a perfect hoodie to wear like a long sleeve under but i'm on my winter side of the closet i have a winter side of the closet and a summer side of the closet because i don't have a whole lot of clothes um so i'm able to hang up all of my summer and winter clothes so what i do is like once it starts getting too cold i'm gonna actually like push my summer stuff like because i have deep parts in the closet like you see how the closet ends here but there's still a wall there's still a closet in there so i'm gonna push my clothes way back like the summer clothes like right now my winter clothes are pushed back on this side and all my summer clothes are visible but i'm gonna do that and push it down the opposite um and that's how i do it <laughs> for my clothes so but oh i need a hanger let's see i'll use this one i need a hanger to hang my sweater on but oh my gosh yeah i love this sweater so dope and i love the fact that like these it's like varsity lettering like it's raised if you guys can see like such good quality such such good quality but i need to lose a few more pounds because i actually bought stuff last year that slightly too small for me like perfect example i found this charlie brown sweater last year but then i could fit it but it, it just was a little bit too snug for my liking so i didn't wear it so it's brand new and i want to wear it this fall so hopefully i lost enough weight now to wear it if not i have to lose you know like maybe 10 pounds to be able to fit it um I have a lot of stuff in my closet like this that I actually didn't wear because slightly too tight. And y'all know I got these wings, so I got to be able to fit my stuff. But I got really cute sweaters for the fall. Like, I love this westerny sweater. Yes, it's white, so I don't wear it that often. I think I wore it once last fall. <laughs> um, yeah, I got I got some cute, some cute stuff. Like, I found off a of Timu um this one's super and it's a teddy bear um and it says be kind that's why i liked it so i found like that and then um i wore this during christmas time last year i have like this merry christmas sweater off of timu um i got a lot of a lot of nice sweaters um and shirts and stuff you know like uh this is a little set i think i got this off of amazon and it has matching um like legging type pants perfect for the fall uh i've actually had this levi sweater for years and i love it because it's levi <laughs> you can't go wrong with levi's but i think i i think i thrifted this and i love it i love it um but yes i have you know like even this set this adidas set right here it's not really Adidas. It's a knockoff Adidas, but I like it. And it came with some matching legging pants as well. So I got some cute stuff. Um, also this, and it got the matching leggings. Like I have some really, really cute stuff. I can't wait to be able to wear it. <laughs> but anywho, let me get my morning routine down. And also I wanna shower cause I'm still in my PJs. Um, so I want to shower and get myself together. So yeah, let's start our day. Good morning, guys. We're in the car wash. The hubby had an appointment this morning that we just finished, and. likely go to the movies later which the hubby is really excited for because we're gonna see a documentary about the Milwaukee Brewers baseball um, which should be interesting because oh, 1982 yeah because a lot of the history that I found out through the Brewers was through him um, I didn't know a lot of it so um, I'm interested into finding out the history behind you know our baseball team and stuff he said it's the only year we went to the World Series so that was the important year for us. That's crazy. We need another World Series win, y'all. Or go to the World Series. They got the best, they got the third best uh, in the national. 
National League as far as wins. And didn't we just win the some? Ch what did we just win? What do we? Our our division. Oh, the division. Yeah. See, this is what I don't know. I learned. But um, but yeah. So we're just getting a car wash, and we're gonna head home for a bit because our movie isn't until one, and it's only nine thirty in the morning. Oh, I thought something was on my teeth. It's the the lights up here. <laughs> it made it look like I, I was bleeding from the gums or something. <laughs> but let me drive, y'all. Hey guys, it's hours later from this morning. Still looks like the same scenario because we went through the car wash before, but we just got out the movies. And I am glad that I went with the hubby to that movie because it gave me a new sense for our Milwaukee Brewers. And back in 82, and I wasn't even born yet, um, I wasn't even thought of yet That's back in 82. But yeah, he was explaining it to me through the movie, and it was so good. And now I have a better understanding of that passion behind the Brewers, you know, and how we even lost the World Series, but all the fans rallied around them as if we won. Babe, that's the color of um, the old school uh, yes. limb yes, uh, thing. Yes, from the 20s. That's, sorry y'all got distracted, but there's a lot of traffic over here right now, but I'm pretty sure it's only because we have a home game this weekend. So it's a lot more people over here you know going to visit and stuff but we got some bourbon chicken while we over here because um we don't get over here to this side of town that often and bourbon chicken is so good if you guys haven't had it we find it at the asian places um like the place we go here is stir fry 88 and they yeah, have we, it if we find if we eat enough of it we get drunk <laughs> normally <laughs> cooks out the bourbon <laughs> but yeah so we got some of that to have for lunch and dinner because normally they give us enough where we eat it to like two or three portions like uh, but yes but now we're on our way home we both sat through this movie we are in so much pain but we wanted to like get out and enjoy this and we both were glad that we did but i couldn't the neighbors even, better not have stole our damn ass ask for cream cream. <laughs> right we got our old people order at the door because my knee i couldn't even like our the theater that we go to they have all reclining seats and I couldn't even recline the seat because my knee hurts that bad and his shoulder hurts that bad to where it was just like it was it, it was I'm surprised we both got through the movie but we got I think we got through it because of the passion behind the movie because it was so good the the people the director all that stuff they did so good portraying it and getting the footage and like it was it was a really good movie uh, what is it called again just us uh, uh just a bit outside just a bit outside yeah and so if it comes on dvd or if you guys have a Man, like, opportunity see to see that, that y'all should but a lot of my watchers are from wisconsin, oh, from wisconsin yeah. so watch it like if you guys have ways to find it and watch it watch it it is so good i don't know how long it's going to be in theaters um it's been in there pretty long so probably far. probably a few weeks now right like uh, a couple weeks a month, month yeah and a half. but it, it is so good like just that history you know just like i tell people even though you're not a packer fan go to lambeau field the history is amazing i'm scared i was running out of time to be able to see it in theaters right and we made it but it was it was so good it was really good so i'm glad i went because i didn't know you know if it was going to be good or, or not you know like if i was gonna, not not i'm not saying it wasn't going to be good i didn't know how i was going to like it but i was reeled in the entire time nothing like distracted me away from watching it and learning and it was so good guys but now we both gotta go home rub some bed gay on our bodies oh y'all oh, i'm not even gonna try to show y'all because the light change but it's a, a green and red lamers trolley i wonder if they use that as a bus it looks like they use it as a bus yeah, it, does. Mm -hmm. it looks like they use it as a city bus all those packer balloons in that car but um but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys an update because we went out to the movies but i didn't really film it a lot of older people in there i think i was the youngest person in there watching it well, you were yeah i was the youngest person in there watching it but i'm glad there's i only did eight of us in there yeah but i like going to movies like that where there's only just a few people because when you get a lot of people you get people you get people talking and all that other stuff but we were talking through the whole movie yeah, but it was to but the people, educate I heard of everybody, quite a, everybody talking about different things. Or because you know why? We all lived through it except for you. Except for me, yeah. <laughs> um, 
yeah this happened in 82 and i was born in 86 so i wasn't even thought of yet but I'm, i appreciate it even being this younger generation because i i'm not the biggest you know like i know all of sports i i know nothing compared to these other people but i have a passion and love behind my wisconsin teams and that's what i that's what i enjoyed like it was it was great i gotta call my dad and tell him about it <laughs> i think he would i think my dad and like my hubby are the two that i know would appreciate that movie so much and the hubby definitely did we gotta do that too it started september 13th it says terror on the fox I'm a drive guys. I just have to tell y'all about that awesome documentary. Yes. Okay. Good morning guys. It looks like yesterday, but it's the next day. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Don't judge me. But that's because I'm doing deliveries this morning to for all the stuff that I made for my business. And I'm knocking this stuff out early so I can go home, shower, and relax. So that is why I'm wearing the same t-shirt as yesterday. But um, my second mom, and I call her my second mom because she is my sister's, my sister and brother's mom. Um, and she ordered a bouquet from me um, because it was her birthday the, recently. And so I made her this bouquet and um, I'm about to drop that off to my sister because she is heading down to Milwaukee today and she'll see her. So I said, well, that works out perfect. I was able to get it done within that time so she could take it to her mom. Um, and then I just dropped off my daughter's gifts and her boyfriend's gifts. And um, um, I just dropped off their gifts. And then I have to, on the way home, I have to do some work runs. I have to run to the pharmacy and stuff like that um and then i'm gonna stop at the gas station it's gonna be the last stop because that's right by my house and then i'm gonna go home and relax because yesterday i was so tired by the time we got home and i was in so much pain because my knee has been killing me lately y'all oh my knee has been hurting so bad and today it feels so much better but i did ice it i put some asper cream on it yesterday i took like hella tylenol like i did a lot to help it so as of right now today it's feeling really good and i pray that it stays feeling good the rest of the day so um so i'm trying to not like do too much oh god rest your soul it's so many animals that have been hit by cars and it's so sad because we're in their habitat like ugh, and it just makes me so sad to see all these animals i'm sorry i went from one thing to another but y'all know me and my sister have attention spans of non-existence <laughs> but uh, but yes it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning and I've made two of my stops already and then I'm gonna get home and maybe later or tomorrow me and the hubby's gonna go out fill up the gas tank clean the car a little bit you know um because we haven't like our, we we're not junky people at all our car is never dirty like if anything it's just more dusty like than anything so but um yeah i'm just on my way like i said to my sister's house and um if she made some breakfast i might steal some while i'm there i ate a few bites of chicken this morning but that was to hold me over because i knew i had deliveries to do and if you guys are in the Green Bay area and sometimes the Milwaukee area, if you guys want any of my money bouquets and stuff like that, I am in the process of learning how to ship them so that way they get to people without being crushed. Um, I'm still in that phase of getting that stuff situated, so I'm not at the point of shipping it just yet for certain things. Other things I will ship, like these type of things. I don't have no problem shipping if they had money in it and stuff like because it's in its own base and this is going to keep it from falling over whereas the bouquet that's something you just hold in your hand so the base is way more narrow so it's more top heavy those are what i'm trying to figure out how to ship but soon soon i'm in the process but um but yeah i'm not gonna talk y'all heads off because i talked a lot in the car yesterday it didn't even show the places that we went because you know some days you just have to enjoy the moments and not record everything and i'm learning that that i don't have to record every single thing um but i want to record enough you know what i mean 
but um oh there's a lot of places that have streets blocked off like i'm glad i'm looking at them now so i can know which ways not to turn but anywho let's get to my sister's house <laughs> to make everybody some food and then your girl is gonna relax today i did a lot over the past few days sit my tail down and relax i'm whispering because my family my loved one is watching church so i don't want to be too loud while they're watching church and then the hubby's upstairs reading so i'm not trying to talk too loud but how are you today hope you've been having a blessed week now let's make some food <laughs> Thank you. 